Hello everyone, welcome to my shop. My name is Stephen Cox. Today's project is going to be a little fire truck. This is a fire truck with a Telesquirt 50 boom or ladder access system. It's got a little extendable ladder that goes out 50 feet. We've got a little water nozzle up there where we can use it for fires and whatnot. This belongs to a local city here. They got an insane quote from another company to come out and fix the extension cylinder. There's a hydraulic cylinder that's inside that boom right there and you can control it, use it to control the end sliding out. So we have to take that extension cylinder out, figure out if it's the extension cylinder leaking or some hoses in there leaking. Either way, we're gonna rebuild the extension cylinder itself, build some new hoses, replace all the hoses and get her done. So right now, I need to go ahead and fire this truck up, get the pump engaged or the PTO pump engaged for the hydraulic system. I've already got the outriggers down right there and move the entire boom assembly down here, chest level to where I can start working on the end. For those of you that have been watching the channel for a while know this, but those of you that are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Um, I was actually a fire apparatus technician for a large municipality here in Texas for about two and a half, three years, back in 2006 to 2009. And I worked on a lot of stuff like this. Now, I never actually got to work on the telesquirt setup or anything, but I'm a heavy equipment mechanic. It's just hydraulics, it's a boom. Let's get it done. I didn't know exactly what we were getting into. So. You talked about the other day on the deal. Yes, sir. So we had left up in there. About 12 feet. 12 feet. I need to pull those blocks out right here. Um, before it'll slide all the way out. But we can go for a couple of us here and we can pull it the rest of the way out until we get it on the sides. Thank you. 
So we got the cylinder out, we got the extension out, we got the cylinder out. Everybody's gone for the day. Had a fantastic group of guys to come out and help. Had a lot of guys here this morning. This is probably the most guys I've ever had to shop at one time. Uh, had like six or seven or eight people out here. Now I do want to tell you guys on these extension booms, these booms have these plastic pads that go on different areas. These little round ones, there's eight of them. There's four on this side. You can see the four holes up there. There's four on the other side and these keep the boom from going left and right. This very large pad goes on the very top like this and then there's a pad on the bottom. A lot of your weight is on this pad right here because you have the extension cylinder that goes out and when weight goes, um, pulls down on it, it's gonna try to lever right here and hit this pad. You do not grease this setup. These little pucks are made out of a material called Delrin usually. Delrin is considered self-lubricating. The only thing that you have to do on your boom, your extension, is just clean it. Make sure there's no dirt on it. Keep it clean as a whistle. Every time you get back to the shop, extend it, wipe it down with a rag, retract it, that's it. Do not put axle grease on these. These don't need grease, they don't need silicone. You're not gonna help them slip better and slip more by adding some oil. All that's gonna happen is the first time you apply it, it's gonna look like it's really, really smooth. Keep burping. It's gonna look like it's really, really smooth operation, but this grease and this sticky stuff running down the road is gonna pick up all this dirt and debris and dust and stuff from the atmosphere and from the uh, locations you put them on and it's gonna collect dirt. This dirt is gonna make kind of a sanding. And as this rotates, it keeps going up over and over and over, it ends up causing a whole bunch of uh, scrapes and scratches on this. And it actually wears these down even quicker. So you'll constantly be having to adjust these. So you don't need to lube these, but we got everything down. Now I still need to pressure wash this stuff. Got hydraulic fluid all over the boom. Um, it wasn't necessarily from my operation. It has been leaking for quite a while. And I want to clean out the inside of the boom. I want to clean all this grease off of here, clean everything out. But it was a fantastic operation. Zero injuries. It went off without a hitch. I had some great guys helping me today. I really appreciate everybody that came out. Um, thank you, Matt McFadden, for coming out and helping me on location. Thank you to um, uh, Mac Bennett. Mac, you're fantastic for getting this all set up for me. Mac's the guy who set up the crane, also a fireman. I got my guy Carson behind the camera. He's back there filming. He's going to edit this video. Look for the next video coming out. And then when we put this back together, it's going to be its own separate video because there's just so much operation for this thing to do. Um, it deserves a couple more videos. So hope you liked the video. Hit this like, like button. Hit the subscribe button. Get out and fix something.